you can definitely see a trend of like uh, most of the black horror films that are made are about racial trauma. So absolutely yeah. there are forces that are like, this is what black filmmakers need to be making if they're working in this space. One quote that really stood out in the film was they love what we make, but not us. Mm. So what was it like working on a film where there was this shared experience and understanding of what it means to actually be a black artist and creative? Um, it was great. It was like vaguely cathartic at, at times as well, because <laughs> some, some of the stuff that Anthony's saying or that people are saying to Anthony, it can really easily mirror the experience of being a black filmmaker in Hollywood. Um, but it was really, it was great for two reasons. One, because, you know, it, we're doing Candyman, but we're doing it from more of a black point of view, which which I think was really important and, and really special. And then um, just as a fan of of, uh, of Candyman and the character and Danny Robitaille, um, it was cool to have to mirror mirror that experience through our main character, um, Anthony. So um, so yeah, it was great. Films like this are really important in showing that you you can make it as a black creative, and you will find the environments where you will flourish. Mm. So mm, yeah, yeah, I mm, really so. love that. I feel really connected to this story. God. Right here in this neighborhood, the legend started. Uh huh. And the legend is, if we say his name five, five times, times while looking in the mirror, yeah. we could summon him. Summon the Candyman. Hell no. The main character Anthony finds himself faced with making a choice between the art he wants to make and mm -hmm. the and what the world wants to see. Whose opinions matter the most when you want to join a project? Oh, is it when I'm joining as a writer director? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, mine. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> um, like even going into the process of pitching for a movie or something, like I, I won't pitch unless um, I really feel passionately about it or I really know like, okay, I think this is really what I want to do. Um, and then after that, once I get deeper into the process and meet more of the people, like, if we're not vibing, then, you know, I'm not staying <laughs> to make the movie. Um, and every movie, you know, I get better at, at figuring that out. But um, I think for any artist, like it really is your opinion that has to matter the most. It, I do agree. But I also think, don't you think about like, especially with a film that centers around the Black experience, mm. like how people are going to interpret it, even like because there are differences between like the African dis diaspora and how everyone mm. interprets it. Do you ever like get worried yeah. about that? Oh, for sure. I mean, especially when dealing with racial trauma in particular, it's so um, so painful and it's so um, triggering. And so undoubtedly, you know, like, it, of course, you make anything, you want everyone to love it. But of course, like, you know, there are going to be people who who don't feel um, seen yeah. by this by this film. Um, and I, and I always hesitate to say like, this is for everyone who's black because we're very different, <laughs> you know, like whether yeah. you're when you're American or British or from the the north or the south you know all these all these things so um um yeah i, I wouldn't say that it was cripplingly worrying but it was okay. just something i was cognizant of and had to accept which i think anyone who's an artist has to accept really this is a real you don't understand okay i i, I will show you that okay candy man no candy man <laughs> <laughs> Don't say his name. Don't follow me. Yaya's character in the film is pressured by white figures in power to make art that is seen as uh, on topic or trending in relation mm. to the black experience. Mm. Um, you touched upon this um, earlier, but how did you feel those same restraints being in the film industry? Um, I would say you can definitely see a trend of like uh, most of the black horror films that are made are about racial trauma. So absolutely yeah. there are forces that are like, this is what black filmmakers need to be making if they're working in this space. Um, same thing with like black dramas, they're often about racial trauma, slavery, civil rights movement, et cetera. So I definitely, I don't feel a pressure so much as I understand that that's what is happening in the industry. Um, but there are also a lot of really interesting black filmmakers who are kind of m moving in their own ways. Um, working around those topics, but also finding other things to 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 tell really black stories about, which I really appreciate. So um, I think now I have the privilege of having a lot of choice, so I can also kind of forge my own path in that way. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. No, of course. Thank you. <laughs>